For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M A S S A J A D Y.com. Do we need to accept a religion to go to heaven? Uh, no, not at all. In fact, uh, again, with my abilities through two near death experiences, uh, I can see what happens uh, after after life. I actually help people um, uh, on the other side. Uh, and there's a podcast on that. Okay, we're not going to get into the details on that. Um, but you need to ascribe to a religion to go to heaven. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, in uh, sadly to say, in a lot of times, I actually see religion as a hindrance to going to heaven because there's a lot of there's a lot of control features in the religion. Maybe in the pure religion, again, I'm not dis- I'm not dissuading you from the religion, but understanding, say, the purity of the religion in its original form, the way it was intended, yes, that would give you uh, a pathway to go to heaven. Okay? Uh, as Jesus put it, there is only one path to enlightenment or one path to God or one path to heaven. Okay? He wasn't talking about himself. He was actually talking about being awakened. There's only one path, right? Uh, if you're not awakened, you're not going to be into that. You're not going to go into that heavenly space. It's just as simple as that. How do you awaken? You might be asking, is it by good deeds, bad deeds? No, not at all. It's by you being completely aware of your physical form as you go through life. For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M-A-S-S-A-J-A-D-Y.com. Or join us on Facebook for more information. We do a lot of Facebook Live.